Have you ever wondered how certain minerals can influence geopolitics and global trade? In today's story, we dive into China's recent decision to require export permits for certain graphite products, a move aimed at safeguarding national security. This decision has far-reaching implications, particularly in the world of electric vehicles, technology, and global manufacturing. So, let's start from the beginning and explore this intriguing topic. China, known as the world's top producer and exporter of graphite, has taken a significant step to control the supply of critical minerals. But why is this important, you may ask? Well, graphite is a crucial material used in nearly all electric vehicle batteries. As China faces challenges to its global manufacturing dominance, it's implementing similar export restrictions on various other materials like gallium and germanium, which are essential for computer chips and other components. These actions are seen by many as a response to U.S. restrictions on technology sales to China. The implications of these graphite restrictions have raised concerns in the Western world. Many are worried that China might extend these limitations to other vital materials, including rare earths, a sector it dominates. But what exactly are rare earths? Rare earths are a group of 17 elements used in a wide array of products, from lasers and military equipment to magnets in electric vehicles, wind turbines, and consumer electronics, such as iPhones. The list of these 17 elements includes names like lanthanum, cerium, neodymium, and more. China's dominance in the rare earth supply chain is undeniable. In 2022, China accounted for a staggering 70% of the world's rare earth mine production. Moreover, China is home to over 85% of the world's processing capacity for these materials. The U.S. heavily relies on China for rare earth imports, but there has been a slight reduction in dependence in recent years. Interestingly, China is estimated to have an impressive 34% of the world's rare earth reserves. Vietnam, Russia, Brazil, India, Australia, and the United States also have significant reserves. This diversity is crucial in reducing global dependence on China. To understand why these concerns exist, we must look back to 2010. China's decision to withhold exports of rare earths to Japan during a territorial dispute led to significant price increases. In response, Japan, the European Union, and the United States challenged China's actions at the World Trade Organization. Japan, once heavily reliant on China, reduced its dependence by investing in alternative suppliers. So, why is it challenging for other countries to increase rare earth production? Rare earths may be relatively abundant, but they are often found in low concentrations and mixed with radioactive elements like uranium and thorium. Separating these elements from surrounding materials is a complex process that generates toxic waste. Lax environmental standards have allowed China to dominate the rare earth industry as Western producers exited. However, Western countries have recognized the need to reduce their reliance on China. Nations like Australia, Canada, the European Union, and the United States have implemented policies and support packages for their critical mineral sectors. U.S.-based MP Materials mines rare earth oxides in California and has launched a separation plant. Even electric vehicle giant Tesla is taking steps to move away from rare earths in its future models to mitigate environmental and supply risks. Finally, China's recent decision to increase its rare earth mining quota signals its intent to maintain a tight grip on this sector. The quota system was introduced due to concerns about illegal mining, and this year, it reached a record high. In conclusion, the global race for critical minerals is heating up, and the role of China in this story cannot be understated. From graphite to rare earths, these materials underpin our technological and environmental future. As we look ahead, it will be essential to balance the need for these vital resources with environmental sustainability and global security. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of geopolitics, technology, and critical minerals.